action. The way the world is looking right now, if you're able to generate ten million dollars, I'm, I'm, I'm recording. <laughs> Go ahead, <laughs> say it. Spill the game. Oh, I thought shit. we in this bitch to rip. If you if you got ten million dollars, what? So I was thinking, man, if you have ten million dollars, right? Right. Like this is this is post apocalyptic post apocalyptic America. If you have ten million dollars, the way it's gone, fifty percent of women over the age of thirty do not have children. Right now, at this moment in time, right now, it's like around thirty seven to forty two percent of women over women over thirty in America, they do not have children. That's a stat. That's crazy, okay? That's wild. And now when you understand they aborted them all. <laughs> and and like and it's it's only trending up. They said that's true. In in five <laughs> years, as it continues to go up, it's gonna be fifty percent of women over thirty not having children. You know what that's gonna be meaning? As soon as we have a civil war in America and the whole system breaks down, it's a bunch of women with nowhere to go. And so my my hypothesis is if you have ten million dollars and you invest that ten million dollars well, like building a whole fort, okay, you gonna be the refuge. And when you have a refuge, when everything goes to boo boo, you know what I'm saying? When it gets torn down, guess what you need? You gotta rebuild. And so it's gonna be me and my baby castle making babies. <laughs> It's going to be me and my whole plethora of wives and concubines making babies. And all my sons turn into knights, and my knights defend my castle. And then they go off when they 30 to go get their own horde of women. I think a lot of that's true. That's misogynistic. I, 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 I spoke on that before. That's you futuristic. Know, even though I have, as I've gotten older, switched my view as far as what I need. I just need one. I need one woman, uh, one down Bitch, if you may call her that and say that with love, you know what I'm saying? Wife. I have one, a wife. Which I've never been without women. I've had multiple women. I've done that. I've done the I've done the poly thing, but I just realized that for me. So I'm talking about me personally. But in, in real life, women choose, man. And they so do. like if you, if a woman chooses you, it don't matter what happens. If she bears your children, she is yours forever. It's just Hey, her body was designed for you. Her everything about her body came because you made it that way, huh? Have a baby with a woman, and that's your woman, huh? Now, if the woman got three babies by three men, then she got three men. Damn, that's a crazy woman. And that's not real poly. Like these hoes <laughs> kicking that poly shit. Like, oh, I'm poly because I got three different niggas that fucking me. Like, you know, I mean, you on the spectrum from even being whole, jump off, or just naive. You know, whatever the case may be. You know, you're not living in order when you're doing that. H however, comma, you know what I'm saying? We just really talking the facts on shit right here. The truth is, women need men. And it's going to be a situation and that goes down. the truth is, men need women. Men need women. Men need women. And the right men can have multiple women because women are looking for provision at the end of the day. And it's only a certain amount of us that really stand up, that's really stand on business and go out and go get it for our family so we can have the, we can have the pickings. There, you know are, there are so many men that have provision they still ain't that guy. Like, they have the money, but they're not the thing that she's looking for. Uh -oh. She gets the thing that she's looking for from the person who actually makes her feel like a woman. Yep. Sometimes a woman just wants to know that I am protected. Sometimes she feels protected standing next to a nigga who ain't got a dollar, but he'll fight for everything. You hear me? And when she's in the presence of a man like that, it just makes it just makes it just get super moist. You hear me? Like, like just part the whole sea. You hear me? It's yours. You hear me? That's when you can really go get it. But that's when I say women choose. And so we have honest conversations about how we interact with people. It's all about choice. And in the system we have right now, I'm a man who has children. And when the women who had my children, when they got mad at me, they put a financial leash around my neck and said, nigga, come here. I own you, nigga. You're going to pay for these babies until. And I'm like, why do you have to do that? Like, you don't want me to treat you that way. Not with anything. You don't want me to be like, I'm going to make you do something. Because you believe in your body, your choice, and all those things. And so I just wanted to be fair around the board, man. Everybody's fighting for the opportunity to be themselves. Can I fight for the opportunity to be myself? Yeah, I, I think the child support system does need to be abolished. I think it needs to go away. Um, I think that if women have the freedom to choose what babies they have, I think men should have the freedom to say, I don't have to take care of a child that I don't want. And they get so mad because when you give the women the ability to choose, right, they only want the guys that they really like. And there's not that many of them. 
It's not that many of them. And so they have babies by the same guys. And they get mad. They want to hold that person accountable. But you liked me. Everything was good just a week ago. And then you knew I was banging another hoe. And then <laughs> I was on child support. And That's then, true. That happened. Women are fighting for the right to have control. But they don't know exactly what they're controlling. And one thing is, too. They really have accountability, accountability and responsibility issues. That's why the whole abortion uh, or right to reproductive uh, decisions. You know how perverse the child support system is? How? A woman can't enforce anything. And so what she does, she calls the police officer. The police officer comes and knocks on your door. And the police officer is also on child support, too. So you got a man on child support enforcing child support. We got men operating against their best interest to protect women, and women are using men, exploiting them against uh, against ourselves. Hey, so remember when I said that abstinence shit? That's what I was talking about. It's like there's certain things that we I don't am really not finna stop <laughs> getting this cat. <laughs> but, so, so that that becomes the issue. It's like okay, we not gonna stop fucking. So what are we gonna do? I'm gonna tell you what I'm finna do. They're going to put me in jail for six months. I'm going to come out of jail, make another baby, go back to jail for six months, come out, make another baby. You can create a monster, nigga. It's cyclical, nigga. They call me dicklical, nigga, the way I be dropping the dick in these hoes. <laughs> but, but that's the thing. It's like, since nobody want to stop fucking, guess what? You want a right to abort a baby. Bro, I need you to be goddamn Jim. Uh, who was uh, Muhammad Ali's nigga? Uh, you know? <laughs> I needed you to go. Hype him up. Like a nigga. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> I'm mad, boy. I feel like Cooper Gooden Jr. and boys in the hood while I'm swinging at the air. Just like, y'all taking all my money. I can't see my children. Hey, y'all want to keep fucking? <gasps> you want a right to kill a baby? Kill that motherfucking child support. <laughs> Hands down. Abolish it. I think the only way it exists is marriages. I think that's just what it is. You but gotta, I, but I think. Forgive me. I'm going to drop them. I'm going to go ahead. No, nah, go ahead. I think it has to be limited on the money, though. Like some of this shit, like I seen this little clip where it was like Marlon Wayne's baby mama, uh, something about $18,000 a month she can't live off of. How? <laughs> How can't you live off $18,000 a month? Because like. They say um, a cost of living tax, okay? I got used to the school he was going to. I got used to the house. And all. how the hell do you get used to spending my money? That's a hell of an addiction, okay? Hey, I've been addicted to your body for the last three years. Do I get to continue to smoke that mother sucker, you hear me? Do I continue to love you at nighttime? When I'm, when I'm lonely at night, can I climb into your queen-size bed and just enjoy all the fruits of my money? I can't. And you think I sound crazy. And you thinking that you are entitled to anything that's mine is also crazy. Interactions between human beings, it's a civil matter. And for the state to ever hop into intimate relationships is crazy as hell. It's the opposite of freedom. I'm a real man. Hey, woman, if you want to deal with me, then you, you deal with me. But trying to make another man deal with me, I'm going to whoop his ass. <laughs> and I'm still not going to deal with you. And that's true. That's true. Like, the fact that that's even an issue between two people who are consenting on the situation is wild that we are allowing the government to come in. And that's where our conservative views come into play. It's like, hey, why are we letting the government tell us what to do? We should be deciding this. So guess what? You wasn't you wasn't entitled to nothing. We didn't make this a real thing. We had this child. I don't there even want is. to be a conservative. Like, because you start thinking about things. I'm just a man. Mm -hmm. I just feel like I'm supposed to defend things and protect things and build things. And when I see bad things, I break those bad things. It's just innately in me. I get excited to do good things. Man, I feel like a dog every time. Every time I do something good and you tell me good job, I just get so excited. Like hey, fucking. But I'm going to say this, snack. though, as a man. If you so, making a fucking baby, you got to take care of your child. <clears throat> Like, you have to take care of your child. My thing is, if you know you're going to... My, my dad taught me this early on. Yo, you got to really imagine that you're going to spend the rest of your life with this woman when you have sex with her, even with a condom on. Why? Because you can have a baby. So if we fucking, and I know I ain't wiped her up, you got to take care of your responsibilities as a man. Like, you ain't taking care of your kids. That's some wild shit. But we're just talking about in the idea of the law. Hey, you hoes want to do whatever y'all want to do. Well, guess what? You got to eliminate this part. You can't because a lot of women, the majority of women are misusing jobs. Hey, you're, you're being moral and things of this nature. What I'm saying is <laughs> you can't have. I'm just being logical. You can't you can't tell me it's your body, your choice, and then use the state to come and control me. 
That's crazy. Exactly. That's the definition of violence. That's the definition of financial exactly. abuse. Like, you don't want me to make you do nothing, but you want to make me do something. Yeah. And then when I tell them I'm not, you can't make me do shit, you're going to put me in jail. And I'm telling you, like, I ain't got it. Put me in jail. When I come back, I'm still the cold ass nigga me. What's up? Yeah, you you can't. The way child support is really created, um, or the way it's aligned is men can't really take care of themselves. Men have to work over the overtime, which, by the way, we know as men we supposed to work, but to the detriment of Why? our health, because you have to kill and eat every day. You get a lot, so we just go to the. You know, we. I heard a scientist say we got the Paleolithic mind in the modern era. So it's like if we go back to ancient times, if you ain't getting up and killing, you ain't eating. So I believe in the Let's hustle. Let's do the, the mathematics grind. because I want to do the mathematics on this right. whole baby mama culture. Okay, so you pay the woman through WIC and through Medicaid to have the baby, yes, and then you demonize the man and then you send him into incarceration. And so for not paying your child support, you might get two years in penitentiary. Okay, that's thirty thousand dollars a year. What could you have done if you would have invested that sixty thousand dollars into that young family? Damn, they could have put a they could have put a down payment on a home. They could have bought a car. They could have made sure their kid had a a, a health of growing. Uh, you know, whatever the baby needed. Family planning should be family planning. Now that's facts. Reproductive that's rights facts. should be reproductive rights. Y'all are investing in a broken system. You're paying the woman to exploit the man, and then you're exploiting the man through incarceration. That's crazy. That's anti-American. I, I got a question for you then. What's I love up? this. This shit going somewhere. So, so guess what? What's up? Are you for reproductive rights? Absolutely right. <laughs> I'm for positive information. Man, if you know you ain't supposed to have that baby, don't have that baby. But I don't need the president of the United States of America talking about don't have that baby. Hey, that's what's up. That's an that's hey, wild. Do you know how much of a spin you just put on our whole what we've been talking about though? Because even though we are, hey, I'm against that shit. I am against abortion. However, comma, I do believe that. Hey, guess what? You know you can't do this. Y'all was fucking. Y'all was wrong. Y'all gotta eat whatever that is between you and the creator. But I do believe that baby's probably better off not here. And it's not even me and saying the baby's better not. Like, I don't even want to go that way. That way, right. Let's just go immediately. You know that you you did something you wasn't supposed to do. Come on. And you're going to spend 20 years looking at something you wasn't supposed to do? Hey, come on. That's hey. crazy. Hey, you know what? That's a take. All we just said right here is a take. Because, dog, it's legit. we legitimizing. We understand why you're doing it. The issue is just the legislative act of it and who it really fucks up. Because guess what? Guess what it kills the most? It does kill black people. I'm about to tell you how this shit gets really convoluted, all right? The, the day after pill does exist. Women, when they get pregnant, they're having babies by men that they like, all right? That's why they're asking for child support. If they didn't want to deal with you, they wouldn't have even had the baby. Oh, man, that's a take. And, so, <laughs> and so when a woman is having a baby, she likes the man. Hey, that boy hit a take. And so if you decide to invest in that man, she's going to love that nigga forever. That boy hit a take. But you demonize this nigga because the nigga can't afford diapers. <laughs> okay. And so since the nigga can't afford diapers, she starts getting mad at this nigga. Fire. All you have to do is give this nigga $12,000. He could have got through the first year of the pregnancy. And man... He's going to have the hustle to go do the thing. You just got to believe in the nigga for 12 months. Give the nigga 12 months to go get it. You give a woman welfare for 18 years. Can you just believe in the family for like three years? Invest in the American family. That's why I get mad at politicians because they're not really investing in the American people. They're just, oh, oh yeah, you want me to say that? I'll say it. I'll say it. Nigga, I want you to say that you believe in American families. Say that. Come on, man. Hey, boy. We got a, hey, you lit, you lit off, nigga. Like, nigga, that's the part we ain't really saying. Why? She's aborting babies from niggas she really don't fuck with. She was fucking. She trying to have the baby for the man she really wants to be with. Women don't have kids for men that they don't want to be with. <laughs> Come on, bro. That's game boy. You dropping game in this. You say you want me to be. What's that nigga name? Hype you up, you Ali. I'm here. Ah! All I know, Beat all I know is that child support is an emotional response. It's okay? an emotional response. Nigga, you don't want me, but I'm going to have you forever. <laughs> because for, for real, for real, 
if she really fuck with him, they not even pressing the child support on the nigga they as really want. As long as he fuck keeps with. fucking with her. As long as he keep with the moment that nigga not fucking with her, she she pressing the but she pressing the red button on that motherfucking as child. As long support. as we give me y'all game because look, <laughs> women ain't gonna out really come. We be getting upset because you gotta go to court. You gotta fuck with them people. The reason why she hey when a bitch don't fuck with you no more, they gone dog. They don't even care. They not they not even tr- and they can still fuck with you and have moved on. And they're going to be light work with that shit. When she getting that pressure, when she putting that pressure on you, nigga, she want to fuck. Nigga, she want to be with you again. It takes time to get to know a person. And I have children with two people, okay? I, I love them before they had my children. I love them when they had my children. And I will love them after the children. Because we went through monumental life moments together. We created life together. What's more exciting? Man, I, I know young women, they 30 years old and they don't want to have no children. They want to go see the Alps and they want to go to, I've been to Africa. I've been to Germany. Hey, man, hey, it's a nice memory, right? I got to see my, I got to see my baby's first steps. I got to see my baby's teeth. I got to see a life grow up. What's more powerful than being a creator? Like if you had any God characteristic, wouldn't it be to create life? Man. You got you got the power of life in your between man, holy Christ. But you know what all this shit is showing us? You gotta be careful with the type of woman you get with. Cause there's a lot of evil women out here. So it's it's women you gotta watch the, the the womb you putting your seed in. What kind of woman don't love babies? Come on, dog. <laughs> hey. That's like me saying, what kind of man don't like coochie? <laughs> Come on. It's the, it's one and the same. It's like, that's why look, I'm 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 gonna go ahead and spit around it. I'm gonna go ahead and spit around it, Dr. Umar, oh, real quick. I think that Dr. Umar is a very intelligent guy. I think that he has a lot of great points. However, comma. <laughs> How the fuck he gonna leave me? Where your family at? Where your kids at? Even if you got the baby mamas where they at? Like, I want to see, hey... People want to see if you can lead the women, dog. If you can't build a home, how the fuck you going to build a school, nigga? Come on. Uh, how you going to take care of 30 motherfuckers you can't take care of two? Three, four, you five. God damn. I got six kids I got to hustle for. You want to school the boys, mother? You hypocritical like, on, race hustling ass nigga. You race hustle. Because <laughs> I feel what you saying. Like, look. I I, I saw I first saw brother Dr. Umar, and I'm going to address him like this because I had a great respect for him because I saw him on... Brother Tariq Elite's uh, Hidden Colors. And I'm going to address these brothers as this because we'll never denounce the good of what people do, but we got to point out the negative too. We got to be balanced. He was talking good shit. But then when you said you celibate, you a man talking about you celibate. Hey, bro, let me tell you something. As a man who stands in righteousness, I've never been celibate. He celibate a dick. <laughs> That's a, and it come out you not celibate. It's, it's straight tricking, you're man. Not, you trick, you not standing on business. So it's like at the you, end of the day. You know what happens? If I, if, if I go on a public platform with a million people and I and I say I'm celibate, I'm finna have 500,000 women trying to crack that nut. 500,000 in the comment section. I'll be your wife. I, I, I'll bring you home. You just ain't met the right one yet. I got to sit down hey, big and, head. And, and shout out to Rob J, man, um, a, another fellow podcaster, you know what I'm saying, Rob J10X, I need to follow him on YouTube. Because of him, I was able to sit down with the great Andre Taylor, who was a pimp. He was, y'all can see him on uh, American Pimp. He's in that movie, you know, the great Andre Taylor, who was ex-pimp. You know what he told me? One, he's transitioned his life into something better, and he's an activist. But he told me some real shit. He said, tell your story before your enemy does. Tell your story before your enemy does, because the one thing that we use today is propaganda. We use reputation. So be a repu- have the reputation of telling the truth, even if it's polarizing. So Dr. Umar, hey, man, look, I fight for the people, but I got a couple hoes. I'm just in that situation right now. I fuck with the hoes right now. I've been this person on, on, on several channels, you know, but now I'm like, okay, this is where I'm aligned at. But hey, at the time, even though I was talking righteousness, I fuck with the hoes. You can trust me in telling the truth. But when you're not telling the truth, because you don't have no real representation behind you of what you've done to lead, how the fuck you gonna lead our people? And it's a matriarch society. He's just a prophet pimp, man. I, <laughs> we, 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 we was chopping it up and like, and these gentlemen, they want to turn the prophet without being of service. And that makes them a false prophet. And they run out here and y'all running after these individuals, just, just just clapping for them and giving all this adulation. And what do you get in return? They don't, they don't just I mean, that's a, that's nasty when a, when a man just just climb on top of you and bust all in you and you don't even come. Mister from Color Purple. That's nasty, ain't it? You just sitting there like, why'd you do that to me for? 
He ain't even yeah. think about you. Yeah, where your lady at, man? Look. That's all these hustles are doing, bro. They I, nothing all in you. I can't fully trust a man that doesn't have anything to lose. So if he don't have no wife, if he don't have no children, you know, something that, that's near and dear to him, you're dealing with somebody that's dangerous because you're dealing with a self, uh, selfish individual. I don't really want to... I, I understand selfishness, but I don't want to fuck with a selfish individual. I want to fuck with somebody, hey, they got something on the line because they understand where I'm coming from. That's what I'm aligned with. I want to continue to lean in on this. Like, I believe that it only takes 1% of the population to really have power. I got that from Ralph Nader. And I look at America, and there's so many alienated fathers from their children. There's so many men on child support. There's like 10 million men on child support in America who don't even have equal parenting time. If these men decided to say, I'm going to be a man today, if 10 million men came together and marched to whatever capital for uh, us in Texas is going to be Austin, go to the capital of your state, it'll be a million deep, 10 million men nationwide to stand up for real reproductive rights. I should have the ability to say what I do with my body. I should have the ability to raise my children however I see fit without the intervention of the state. That's real power. Yep. That's real reproductive rights. That's real men really being active. Is there 10 million good men in America? Hell yeah, because niggas want you to take them to church. Is there 10 million good men in America? <laughs> Y'all have a motherfucker talk to you like that, and then you want to do right. Yeah, then we got to get the choir involved and shit. You know what I'm saying? Then we got to have them. They got to start a gay nigga doing a split. The gay nigga. <laughs> Or leading the choir and shit. Y'all want to see that? You know what I'm saying? They singing and doing the musicianship. You got you got a gay nigga doing the, a baby twerk while he's leading the choir and shit. It's all in the hips with a baby twerk. All that, man. Y'all want that whole experience. If you don't know him <laughs> by now. Nick. <laughs> Which, you know, and, 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 and let's kind of. That wasn't a gospel song. That, that shit is kind of, you know, it's wild how hypocritical the church can be and how y'all accept that. But y'all really don't like the truth. Y'all don't like the truth. Hey, I believe the truth is divisive, and I don't believe it's for everyone. I don't believe in that save everybody, we are the world shit. It feels good to get freaky and to be nasty and do the wrong thing. It's exhilarating until you're 37. And then when you get to 37, if you're a woman, you be like, damn, I can't have babies. And if you're a man, you get to 37, you say, I ain't built nothing. And so you don't have no future, no 401k, no Roth IRAs. You ain't even got a house, nigga. You're 40 years old trying to figure it out, nigga. Hi, nigga. I know. I've been divorced before. I've been to prison. Started over three times. Welcome to America. <laughs> hey, man, that's true, dog. Like, we don't, a lot of people aren't having a real conversation with alternative lifestyles. They're not really saying what's the result of it because we seek pleasure so fucking much that that's all we focus on is I can do what I want to do. But guess what? That sounds childish as fuck. You can't let your kids just do what they want to do because what happens? You get destructive when you do whatever you want to do. I had a celly, right? And they called this gentleman Perm. He was about six foot two. I was offended because he shared my legal first name. I won't dare say it right now, but I was offended. This gentleman, every time he had to pass gas, he had to run to the toilet and sit on the toilet because his anal cavity had been so obliterated by his partners in his time. Oh, I said, shit. that cannot be a happy existence just to have an empty cavity on your body. No more sphincter whatsoever. That's got to be disgusting, but that's a reality for so many individuals. But for me to say that's a disgusting act, you look at me like I'm saying something wrong. No, no, no. You got a, uh, you got a reproductive system. You got a digestive system. They're not the same thing. They're not the same thing. <laughs> you got to die for you. Got to be willing to die for your manhood, and to give up your manhood, you're not a man. And that's the most fascinating question, especially right now in modernity. What is manhood? Oh, man. Oh, man. For what me, I, be manhood? I believe that manhood is the ability to fight for what I believe. It's yes. the ability to have children yes. and raise my family however I see fit. And if me and, my, if me and my woman ever have a disagreement, it ain't got nothing to do with the state. And then every woman in America, she say, well, she can't do anything if she gets into an argument with you. She can't out-argue you. Well, then you can do something different or you can help me. Of, uh, accomplish the goal. <laughs> I got tongue tied because I didn't want to say, "Hey, please do what I ask you to do." How I ask you to do it as fast as possible. This has controlling. I'm trying to be efficient. We're trying to buy a house, nigga. Hey, being a real man 
is a lot more basic than your your money. In fact, your money don't make the man. Real men take care of the responsibilities. Real men like coochie. Real men don't give up they they manhood, and uh, they're willing to protect their manhood at all costs, no matter what. Even if they, they real men are willing to put their life on the line every day. You still gotta define what that manhood is. Um, uh, I'm giving the attributes. You know what I'm saying? But uh, and also you gotta have balls and a penis. You can't. You gotta have balls and a penis. Got to, physically, you have to physically have a balls and penis in the prostate. You know. Um, and, and, they say, well, what if he ain't got no semen? Nah. Does that mean since he can't reproduce, is he still a man? Like, hey, stop all this hypothetical shit. With yeah, this, like, we just talking about the basics. This is less than 1% of the population Sam. that you think about this hypothetical person. The unicorn, maybe if they do exist, and I want to I wanna, uh, mediate for them. Men are brave. Men are brave. Men are bold. It's very simple. With, with being a man, is very simple. Are men perfect? No. We can't define by... Cause he ain't motherfucking take you to motherfucking state forty eight. That don't make him the man, or cause he not covering I don't all the even bills. Know what state forty eight is? I I see these weak ass niggas. Bro, I'm a millionaire. They got these diamonds and they glistening. Hey, only bitches like to show off. So when you see niggas like rings on and in the camera and talking and they hair all pretty, man, that's bitch behavior. Let's not get it confused. You know That's what? You can look clean. It, it sounds offensive because, man, this culture, we love to be gaudy and everything. And yeah, I showed behavior. I showed you want me a big ass, like a, a two pound, one kilogram, uh, a Cuban link. It, yeah. It's going to be fantastic. And that show is going to be bitch behavior. Because <laughs> I'm trying to stone y'all whole ass niggas. I want to stun. We all want to stun. But at the end of the day, man, I never seen my Uncle Justice or my granddaddy, them World War II vets or them, them guys from the 60s era or the 50s era that was raised by those, the silent generation. They wasn't showing off, nigga. They was going to work and making shit happen. And guess what? They had multiple bitches, too. I'm not talking about anybody specific. I'm just talking about the silent generation. A lot of us are products of, you know, the, the, the second family. And guess what? They was able to hold that family down. And them bitches wasn't complaining like that. They the legend, doors. the legend of the real nigga. Like Come back on. in the time when they tell the story, when the nigga walk in the room, they just like nudge on you and shit. But man, 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 that, that's Johnny Lee right there. <laughs> man, Johnny Lee was in a dice game, man. Johnny Lee cut about three niggas, you hear me? Johnny Lee got, oh, man. he got two kids down there. Hey, and guess what? His baby, his secret baby. She love him too. She be they waiting. She be waiting in the shack for him <laughs> to come home. Yeah. And Johnny Lee got two families. You hear me? The legend of the real nigga. But y'all are afraid to be the real nigga because you're controlled by feminine ideology. It says, man, don't don't be that bad motherfucker willing to gamble your life away. I ain't never had to take no woman to stay for you. masculinity. I ain't never had to take no woman anywhere but where I wanted to take her because she wanted to be there. And, masculinity. and when you real, the women want to be there and you can really do. See, look, let's go back to that. You can do what you want to do when you in demand. Man. You know what I'm saying? So like when you in demand and they want you, yeah, they going to, like you said, they only using the child support against niggas that's in demand. Emotional ass. They not, dog, if you, if 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 she says she wanted to board your baby, leave her alone and go fuck with somebody else. She ain't like you that much. She didn't like you, nigga. But if she trying to have them kids for you, man, she wants you so bad. She wants you so bad, and she willing to put that white man in your life and make you pay for it, just to show, and say you ain't shit. Knowing that you there be doing all the shit you can for this kid, you working your ass off, and say you ain't shit, just to, because she want to be with you, man. The, I didn't sink it. The legend of the real nigga. Yeah, man. The greatest American alive. Yes. You are the greatest American alive. <laughs> That's a great way to say it. Out of this house. <laughs> The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive.